Hello everyone, I'm Chester44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Neverwinter Nights 2. Last episode, we made our way further through this clan's, well, home, and now I believe we finally made it to the final room. So, let's cast a blessing on ourselves and make our way in to take care of it. Just a whole bunch of orcs. Neverwinter dares not send its grey whelps to face me in true battle. Instead, they send assassins. We are not assassins, Logram. You sent the tribes against the people of Neverwinter who dared settle here. So we are here to stop you. So the Cattlemarked, the one who has been attacking us, giving the grey whelps time to rest between each assault. Why my men fear to face you in battle is hard to see. You die here now, Cattlemarked. You and this one from Neverwinter who leads you. Are you ready to die? Your reign is over, Logram. Someday, perhaps, but not by your hands. Know that Jystog has betrayed you. The coward warned me of you and has helped me prepare. Of course he has. You dishonored yourself once, Jystog. Now fight by my side and regain what you lost. Finish them. And know that it was Logram Eigauger who crushed these dogs of Neverwinter. Well, that's unfortunate. These enemies will not stand against us for long. That's unfortunate. The ice arts almost dead. Oh, well, the ice arts dead. Logram is also almost dead. Let me get a friend. Come on, come on, who's... One of us got the final hit, I don't know who it was. But it's dealt with. We're all dead. Well, let's do what we can. Luckstone amulet. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here we got. I don't care about the flail. Oh yeah, that's a lot of stuff. Potion of Lesser Restoration. Ooh, very nice. Let's see here. We've got plus two chainmail. Luckstone. What is this? The slender chain bears a luckstone pendant move. of rough polished agate. Such stones come from the halfling homeland Lurian. The luck of the hin is said to have rubbed off on the rocks and grants the luck to the bearers of such trinkets. Oh! Skill bonus to everything, and improved saving throws to everything. You know what? I think that's something I like. We'll wear that. Uh, what's this orcish medallion? Probably just a quest item. Watchman's Helm. It is unclear if these magic headpieces were created by clerics of Helm, god of guardians, or if they acquired their name by a more convenient circumstance. Whatever the case, they are highly prized by guards and sentries. All cast a visible glow of one sort or another, and many magically hone the wearer's senses. Needless to say, rogues have also taken to wearing them, proving the old proverb that what's good for the goose is good for the gander. Listen, search, and spot. Yeah, let's give it to our rogue. Swordsman's belt. Slashing resistance. And we'll give it to you. Chainmail plus one. Follow me. You've already got that, but yes. we also have chainmail plus two, I'll which we can wear. We also have Stone Fire Axe, bonus fire damage, and Ardulia's Fall. Ardulia the Agile was a man whose speed and skill at knife play made him exceptionally lethal in battle, and he repeatedly proved it by leading raids on settlements along the Sword Coast. He would often challenge the village leader for possession of the town, and with his speed the duels were always quickly decided in his favor. Ardulia met his match one spring morn, however, when he battled the priest Itgan, who wielded this mace. Ardulia seemed to stagger under each blow, slowing his pace to recoup and regain his breath. Without his speed, Ardulia was lost and fell to the measured attacks of Itgan. Ah, slow. Okay. Follow you! Me. You're getting this better chain mail. I carry too much. Fall in. Alright. Anything else we want to hand to people? Zatran's amulet? Yes. What the hell? Give it to you. Yes. Instead yes. of the glittering Your necklace, command. which yes. I guess we can sell. Follow me. Yes. Fall in. 
Anything else we got here of note, aside from all this loot? Oh yes! Fire arrows. Sure, throw them to someone, I don't know who. But they could be useful. The amount of loot we're carrying over here probably also... Hmm. Anyway, actually, you know what? Throw this amulet in here. Okay, so we've got all this loot here. And we need to find some way to divide it up. Yes. Yes. Hold on, let's rest first, since we can. Well, we can probably drop this chain shirt. I doubt it's going to be that valuable to us. Not really anything else of heavy value that I want to drop. You, yes. however, cast that I on yourself. Know. Yes. I carry too much. I'll have to share the load. There we go. All right, we're good. Now, let's see what's in here. Yes. Trapped, of course. But it looks like there's more loot in here. Yes. What have we got? We've got oh, a trapped chest and a weapon rack with a war mace, we'll stout core key. Everybody. Fall in. What is Stout Core Key? The Stout Core Mercenary Company of Rashomon has a faction that specializes in siege work, though terrain problems in the past have caused them to forego traditional castle breaking equipment. They prefer muscle power over gadgetry and boast that three of their finest, equipped with these keys, can breach a wall in moments, though it is by no means a subtle affair. It does boast strength, though? I cannot move God carrying damn this it. heavy load. Choking powder and a potion of lore. Okay, throw the potion of lore in. And this. Follow me. Of course. Even with the strength, you can't. I carry. Yes. Hold on, I have an idea. Which is. That one is 40% less weight. So if we throw a few things in here... Much. We'll have to share the load. That should help. We'll just have to remember to take them out later. Alright, let's go. Only one other room we can investigate. Oh, there's more to this place. How can I help? Well, you know what? Disarm the trap, please. Disarm the trap, please. And you know what? Now that I think about it, I got a div I got a better idea. We're going to run out of here so we can sell all of this loot that we have that Your we command. are not going to keep carrying so that we don't have to worry about, you know, running out again. I'm going to do that off screen so that we do so that it's not incredibly boring having to deal with it. So I'll be right back. We'll be back soon to go through the rest of this place. Be right back. And I'm back. I managed to sell most of my loot, but I did hold on to the Stoutcore Key, Neverwinter Kukri, Nimble Crossbow, and Ardulia's Flail, just because selling it back at the camp only gives me 5,000 gold. But I get 10,000 if I sell them to Deacon. So, heavy as these are... Actually, now that I think about it, let's throw them in here. That should help out. Uh, this isn't much, is it? No, it's only two pounds. That's eight pounds. What the hell? Throw them in there. A little less weight. We'll just need to remember this when we have to lose. When we have to get rid of them. Also, some of these I'm still holding on to, just so I can give them to our mage when we get back. Anyway, let's go further down into this place. Oh dear. These corpses. 
I know these men and women. I served with them. Uh, I don't know what this cave is, but maybe we should back away and move on. This looks like some kind of burial chamber, but... Some of these soldiers fell in battle against the orcs, but their bodies were never found. I do not know how they ended up here. Why would someone bring these bodies here? I do not know, but I do not like the feel of this place. Looks like some sort of burial chamber, but all the bodies are arranged like that. Orcs and humans. Look, I, I think we're better just leaving this place be, don't you think? No one deserves to be piled here like this. We owe it to them to continue on. I agree. I want to know who has done this and why. I don't like this. I'm not above looking around, m maybe robbing a corpse or two, but this place just feels wrong. I trust your instincts on this one, but I'd rather know what's here than have it come after us later. Alright, but sometimes I'd rather have something way, way behind me, rather than face it straight on. I'm ready for a fight. Maybe we can add some more orc bodies to the floor. Here's to hoping. And what the hell, that got me some, uh, happiness from Nishka. And we got a plus one short sword. Well, that's sellable. No idea how big this place is gonna be. Can't see anything. So let's go in and see what we're fighting. Ghouls! Ghouls and undead. Let's get fighting. Those died easily. <laughs> Well, thank you, Casavir. We got another one of these. Another vein of ore. That looks like it continues on, so we're not gonna go in there yet. Let's take a look in here and kill more of these undead. Looting a gas. Well, some of them are t are frozen. Let's see what they're made of. Plus side, undead are very easy to kill. Not that much in the way of loot here. Bracers of archery and gas claws. I think I know who I'm gonna give those bracers to. That seems to lead to a dead end with more undead. To the death! Have you used up all your... You have not used up all your return undead. Use it now! I mean, I guess we didn't really need to. We killed most of them. Alright, well, we've got a chest over here that we can use. Nishka, get on opening it. At least now we know why things are unsettling. All these undead in here. Your command. It still leaves the question, who raised them? Someone must have, that must be what the bodies were for. Someone has been raising undead for some reason. Uh, Nishka, thank you. Your stealth attacks aren't going to be very useful against undead. Nothing yet, but there's more. Nishka, come on. Got quite a few more in the to kill. That works. Turn and dead is proving to be fairly effective. And we've got a chest here that you can unlock. These enemies 
Ash will not stand against us for long. <laughs> Ishka, go unlock that door for now. Oh, that yes. chest. Killer's kit and thieves tools. Yeah, I can see there's some in here. Let's get them dead. Much easier than the orcs. Your command. A lot of gold pieces in that one. A room up here. This must be the kitchen of whoever is making this. I see a big slab of meat. The crate containing. A fair bit of stuff. And, ah! Damn it, hit by a slow trap. That's not pleasant. Shuriken, Great Axe, Longsword. Well, it's worth some value. This'll take a minute for the slow to go away. It's kind of annoying in the meantime. Okay, it's gone. Is someone here? Wind? This place... Someone is using the dead for experimentation. Defiling their bodies instead of allowing them to rest. Oh dear. Ah, I thought I felt a stir within my domain. Like a bright, shining light trying to cast away shadow. These people, what have you done to them? You deny them their rest? Deny them their peace? Peace? Come now. Surely you recall how they died, Paladin. These mountains have been covered in blood since your arrival. After all, you led these dead into one glorious charge after another. I think what I have done is mercy in comparison, and I shall also grant them a chance at revenge, I think. We will not allow this defilement to continue. Our leader speaks true. You face us both. I do not know what power you worship. But I can sense the evil thick upon you. It has touched you, and it will soon run deeper than you know. Oh, Paladin. Shadows always run deeper than one knows. Even deep in your heart, I think. But this talk bores me, and I would be a fool to turn away such new material for my rituals. Come now. Shadow awaits. We have a whole bunch this of undead to deal with. Let's kill them. All of the mages. Oh crap, fusion? Oh, this is bad. I should have saved. I can't even do anything right now. Two of them fell because of that spell. And I'm stunned. Kelgar is still confused. I really should have saved. Plus, I'm no longer stunned. Okay, I need another potion drink. Drink the... Cure Serious Wounds. Drink another. Get these guys dead, quickly! 
That's all you got. Okay, one's dead. Almost got the Shadow Priest dead. Okay, the Shadow Priest right. is dead. Kelgar, you need to finish that guy off. Okay, we're good. We survived. Oh boy. Unfortunately, that wind person pat didn't survive. Let's see what these guys had on them. Scrolls and potions. Potion to cure light wounds. Plus two morning star dwarven mirth and a sapphire. Among the dwarven people, the father of all bards was the master talesmith Cimmeron Steelhammer. Well versed in his people's history and lore, he traveled extensively, spreading tales of, the cu of their culture and achievements. Near the end of his long life, he returned one last time to his home in the Great Rift. From every lintel hung a version of this shield, commissioned by his clansmen to commemorate his own coming. Plus one armor, plus one for shield, and plus two charisma. You can hold on to that mace. So there had so it was someone like that who was doing all this. How can I help? Nishka, unlock the door. Fall in. Aha! I think we found Asani. And who are you? Are you my interrogator for today? We're here to help. Who are you? You can trust us. As our leader said, we are here to help. I see no reason to lie to you. I am Asani, emissary of Waterdeep. My entourage was waylaid by orcs. They brought me here, where I have been questioned. Quite painful, but I refuse to cooperate with them. How do I know you're not lying? Proving my identity is simple enough. My captors were rather thorough during my interrogation sessions. They took many notes. Their own words should be enough to convince you that I am who I claim to be. If you are the emissary, where are your credentials? I had assumed you were in possession of them. If not, my captors should still have them. If you are willing, I would like to have them back, but our safety must come first. Thank you for freeing me. I can make my way back to the my way to the old owl well from here. Be assured that people of importance will hear of what you have done this day. Until we meet again. I would have preferred to escort you, but very well. He's going out that way. Looks like there's something over here, though. Ah, this is their quarters. Well, we have some things we can loot. Priest chest, weapon rack. I carry too much. Bastard sword I plus one, it. not bad. There we go. A journal, gold necklace, and gauntlet. Gloves of the hen fist, useless to us. But what's this journal? I have made progress with my experiments, but the drain to the subject's life force is severe. We must be missing a piece of the puzzle. Perhaps I need to find one with more power. The magelings from Neverwinter have shown that success is indeed within our grasp. I will continue to test on the corpses that my minions bring me. There are other, other riddles to unlock while I search for one with the raw power that I seek. Oh, goody. You hold on to that. Looks like this is the way out. Excellent. From here we can head back, sell all our loot, and report in. Let's do just that. First things first, loot to sell. Show me what you have. I'm going to hold on to the braces of archery. Because I have someone in mind to give it to. Actually, hold on. Healer's kit plus three. 
That can actually go to here. Not that I really need it, I don't think, but I'm holding on to him anyway. Not enough gold to purchase this item. They ran out of freaking gold? Dwarven mirth is at its limit. I did not expect a situation Follow where they me. would run out of gold. Yes. Okay, well, we're fine. Now let's report in to Callum. Oh, this Penton guy. You know what? We did see him before. And Catriona, too. Alright, let's report into Callum first. Ah, there you are. The Waterdeep Emissary arrived here not long ago. Safe and sound. Well done. He told quite a tale about your heroic rescue. Couldn't stop singing your praises. I can't wait to hear your version of the tale. Ah, and you brought Logram's Eye Gouger's banner. That would explain why the Orc attacks have stopped. Without a chieftain, they're going to be fighting each other now. Did a woman named Catriona make it here to warn you? She did indeed. She claimed to have been part of the force attacking the orcs. She's here in the camp, along with some of her men. It was her leader I was waiting for, and I see you've brought him. Well met, Casavir. Callum, it is good to see you're still in one piece. You two know each other? Yes. Callum serves Neverwinter. As I did for a time. I assume you were the one leading that band who was harassing the orcs? I owe you a great debt. Now that I know who is leading that mercenary band, I understand why it was so difficult for us to make contact with you. You've put me in a difficult position here, Casavir. Your leaving was sudden, and some even say disloyal to Neverwinter. Whatever trouble Casavir is in, know that he helped us, and you, willingly. I cannot have you defend me in this, but I thank you for your words. No harm will come to him, I assure you. My report will read that the Grey Cloaks were able to hold off the Orcs long enough for you to take Logram's head. That should make the Council happy that their money was well spent, and put you in good graces with them as well. And officially, Cassavir was never here. Whatever reasons you had for leaving and going on to Old Owl Well, they are your own. You'll have us to protect you as well. I thank you. But I will do my best to ensure you are not drawn into my troubles. Rest assured that I doubt anyone looks for me still. I left Neverwinter's service, and the matter is not more complicated than that. What of my soldiers, Callum? They know old Owlwell, and they fight as only those fighting for their homes will fight. I could certainly use them if they don't mind wearing a uniform, my friend. My Grey Cloaks could certainly learn a thing or two from them. Of course, I'm going to have a hard time explaining to the Council how I ended up with another hundred mouths to feed and arm. I'm sure you'll think of something. Heh. <laughs> I'll have to. Can't pass up that many extra soldiers. Especially ones that know Old Owl well like the back of the hand. With any luck and with the new soldiers, I might be able to hit the orcs now while they're disorganized. What of the Emissary? I was supposed to escort him to Neverwinter. The Emissary is under my protection now. I'll send my best soldiers to escort him. You've already risked enough for him. Is there anything else that you need from me? You've done more than your share of work here. I've taken the liberty of putting together a reward for you. Consider it a gift from the Council. You have my thanks for everything that you've done here. And keep an eye on Casavir for me, will you? I hope you can help him. Back to work for me. It was good seeing you again, Casavir. Good luck to you. Oh, and you may want to go see your friend, Catriona, if you haven't already. I'm sure she'd like to make sure you're alright. Of course. And we got a thousand gold and a great axe. Ray's Redemption. When Mulhoran's rebellious wizards opened Faerun to the invasion known as the Orc Gate Wars, the avatars of the deities descended from the heavens to do battle. The avatar Ray was slain in battle, but used his dying breath to create hundreds of these great axes. Known as Ray's Redemption, each of them was dedicated to the slaying of orcs, and only with their help was the Great Horde forced northward. Massive bonus against orcs, but that's not useful to us. Let's speak with Catriona. It's good to see you again, Casavir. I heard you found Logram. We did. I am glad you were able to make it here to warn Callum. 
If we had failed, there would have been little keeping Logram and all the tribes from retaking this place. Any new orders? Even with the tribes in disarray, you and I could probably help with the Grey Cloaks, if you wanted. Do you intend to rejoin your men, Casavir? No. The Orcs no longer hold Old Owlwell. It has been freed for the people here, not solely for a Neverwinter trade route. Going to leave just the way you arrived, are you, Casavir? So, where does that leave me? You could stay here and help the Grey Cloaks. Hmm. It might be time for me to find something a little more challenging. These orcs were tough, but, well, I think I'm due for a change of scenery. Maybe there's a nobleman in Neverwinter who needs an extra blade by their side. Well, best of luck to you with that. She's quite capable. I couldn't have asked for a finer sergeant. Perhaps another time. For now, I think I'll stay here. Maybe they can use someone like me until I feel like making the journey to Neverwinter. Could be a while. If you decide you need help, come see me. Maybe we can work something out. <laughs> need some help? I'm just an adventurer. I don't know what I could hel get help with. And there's Penton, the miner. There you are. We've been waiting for you for a while now. You must have cleared out those orcs. There's all that ore unprotected, just waiting for my men to dig it out. Maybe we can work out some deal, eh? Go on, I'm interested. You get yourself a place of business, and I think we can help each other out. My men and I can supply you with refined ore that should net us a tidy profit. Until then, I'll be waiting here. Okay, then. Well, with that, I think I'm going to end this episode here. Next episode, we're going to return to Neverwinter, sell the remainder of this loot we have, and get a lot of money for it, and check in with our companions and report in. That'll be in the next episode. So, until then, I'm Chester44. That is Travis Ignum, Kelgar Ironfist, Nishka, and Casavir. This has been a Let's Play of Neverwinter Nights 2, and I shall see you all next time.